I've been working from home for the last three months or so, and it's been great overall. Part of it being that I had a great setup at home already. My girlfriend has also been working from home with me, but she had a really basic desk, mostly meant for sewing, her hobby. This desk was not appropriate to fit what she needed for both her hobby and work at the same time, and if you ask me, I think it was a bit messy. So I made it my mission to improve it, and here we are today with this new desk setup. Let's see how I did it. So the desk we had to work with was a 47-inch Karsta tabletop from IKEA, paired with EntroDesk sits down legs. The base was still great, but this top had to be replaced, so we paid a visit to our nearest IKEA to pick up an L-shaped beacon tabletop. As I mentioned earlier, this desk is now used both for full-time work and for sewing. When it was only a sewing station, the size and layout made sense, but now that this desk requires a lot of electronics to be used as a workstation, it's a bit too small. So apart from a laptop, monitor, keyboard, and mouse, there's also two sewing machines, and a printer, and a lot of cables. So I went ahead and disassembled the existing desk to perform the upgrade. I started by vacuuming under a bit. After removing all the stuff on top, there was a lot of debris on the floor. After that, I removed the cable tray that was there initially, as well as the control panel for the sit-down legs and all the remaining screws that held the top in place. With the new L-shaped beacon tabletop, I set it upside down to mark the holes to drill to make sure it was perfectly straight. As you'll see later, this won't be really helpful as I'll have the base at an angle. Since the desk has an L-shaped surface, there was a long section with no support and it wasn't super solid. So I relocated the legs so that they provide the best support possible. I also drilled holes for the IKEA Signum rack I wanted to reuse it for that desk upgrade. Once flipped back on its feet, I secured the tabletop into place, and then I also screwed the cable tray under there. One great thing about the Beacon tabletop is that it's a particle board throughout the whole surface, instead of a honeycomb cardboard structure we see in IKEA's cheaper tabletops. These sag easily, and screws don't hold strongly either, so I recommend going with the Beacon or Gerton lines. Finally, I reinstalled the sit-stand desk controller with two screws. In terms of accessories, I reinstalled this power strip desk clamp. Always nice to use it for things that are temporarily connected, like a laptop charger or a steam iron. Then I added this Blitzwolf USB-C hub. It has a bunch of ports at the back and acts as a base station for a laptop where you can charge it and connect to peripherals as well as monitors with a single cable. After that, I installed an LED strip also from Blitzwolf. It didn't come with a US plug, but the adapter was included, so it's not too bad. Overall, it sticks fairly well, and it's like 6 foot long, so quite decent for the price. I also added back the sewing machines and the printer at the right side of the desk. As for the monitor, I added this Xiaomi 24-inch IPS 1080p model. While the specs are nothing too exciting, I like the fact that it has no branding and the cable management is handled magnificently with the HDMI and power ports directly at the back of the stand instead of on the panel itself. The stand is not height adjustable and the port selection is weak, but it should do the job for my girlfriend's needs. In terms of peripherals, I gifted her my Womier K66, a keyboard I recently reviewed on the channel. Then I also received this nice desk mat. The quality of the stitching is very good and I like the design. The resolution could be a bit higher, but I have no other mats to compare it to, so maybe that's a standard print quality. Finally, I also added a walnut wrist rest and let my girlfriend use my Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. So I set everything up and it seemed great, but let's fast forward to a few weeks later with the setup in use to see what worked and what changed. First thing is that we moved the printer elsewhere to leave more room for other things. It's not used on a daily basis, and even if it was, it wouldn't need to live on the desk. Then we had to revert the Blitzwolf USB-C hub for another one we had on hand. The Blitzwolf unit had connectivity issues, for some reason it wouldn't display a proper image to the monitor. That's pretty much all of what we changed, but we did add a few other accessories. Under the desk, I added another cable tray to support cables coming from the power strip under the desk to the desk legs. This one is plastic instead of metal like the IKEA one, 
but it's pretty nice and I would recommend it if you only need a short cable tray. Then we added two desk lamps by Basius, one directly on the desk and the other one on the monitor itself. Both have three color temperature settings and their intensity can be adjusted too. The desk lamp also has a wireless charging pad on top and a USB port at the back for charging wired devices. The monitor lamp is quite special. It can be adjusted to fit on most monitors and then you get controls on the right side. It's highly inspired by the screen bar lamp made by BenQ and it being almost four times cheaper than BenQ's model, it's quite an interesting product. However, the quality is nowhere as nice. The light produced by the BenQ looks better, it has more color and intensity adjustment steps, it's made out of metal instead of plastic, and it has a sensor to automatically detect the proper settings based on the existing light in the room. I also received this Xiaomi Slim Mouse, and while it's not as ergonomic and practical as the MX Anywhere 2S, it complements well this clean setup and it's a lot more affordable as well. It works well and is a great option on a budget, especially since it both supports a dedicated dongle and Bluetooth connectivity. I only wish it had an internal rechargeable battery instead of a AA battery. So overall, my girlfriend is very pleased with this new setup. The biggest upgrade was definitely the tabletop size. Couple last mentions regarding the peripherals we added in this setup. The Blitzwolf LED strip is nice overall, it is controlled over Wi-Fi with an app that looks nice and works fairly well, however, it can only display a single color at once compared to Philips Hue or LifeX strips, hence why the lower price. The walnut wrist rest I receive has a poor finish, the lacquer is uneven and doesn't look too good. It was very cheap too, so that's probably why, but I would recommend spending a bit more to get one with an overall better quality. Finally, I still think this Xiaomi monitor looks amazing. It's one of the main selling points in my opinion. The lack of branding and the super thin bezels look very nice. By default, the menu is in Chinese, but it's pretty easy to switch it to English. Then it has all the basic adjustments you can think of. I only increase the brightness as I like the default settings as they were. So that wraps it up for today. Let me know what you think about this setup down below. If it was your workstation. What would you change? As always, I'll have links to most of the items I used in this video down in the description. Most of these are affiliate links, so feel free to use them if you're interested and help the channel at the same time. So thank you for watching, make sure you leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.